Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mitch from Mitch Reviews Everything, and today I will be reviewing Evil Hit Evil from 1983, a.k.a. Three Dark Spirits. This is a Taiwanese and Korean co-production. The two directors were Lucifer Lai Wen Xiong and the Korean director Nam Gi Nam, and it's from Dayong Films. All right, before we get started here, I have to address the uh, uh, director's name here. Lucifer Lai Wen Xiong. How about that? I mean, you know, when they came to him and were like, hey, you want to take an English name for the credits? Or like, you can be Bruce, Philip, Joe. This guy said, nah, Lucifer. Um, what do I know? I, apparently, this is the only movie he directed. Maybe Lucifer is his, his given name. Who, who knows? But definitely sticks out. I'm assuming he picked this English name because um, this is a horror movie. And it definitely worked for some sort of gimmick to throw on there. Hey, caught my attention. Anyway, let's get into the uh, story here. So this movie follows a humble woodcutter named Lee, played by Alan Lau. He cuts wood for the local official, a man named Master Hung, played by Chan Singh. And uh, one day, while he's out cutting wood, he happens to see Master Hung's daughter, Miss Hung, played by Doris Lung. And this is absolutely not a good thing, because the last guy who caught Miss Hung's daughter, well, things didn't work out quite so well. His name was Chen Fu, and he was played by Quan Young Moon. And Chen Fu not only lost his life, his entire family was murdered um, for even having any dealings with Miss Hung. Well, Chen Fu just couldn't let this stand. It wasn't right that he was murdered, so he comes back as a restless spirit. And he sees that Lee is a um, a man in the same exact predicament because Chen Fu also worked for Master Hung, and you know he sees that uh, he that um, he caught Miss 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 Hung's eye, so he decides that Lee is the perfect person to possess and take out his vengeance. So what happens is anytime it rains, Chen Fu enters Lee's body and just starts to go on a killing spree, trying trying to take his revenge on Master Hung, and Master Hung is absolutely losing his mind the entire time trying to figure out a way to defeat the evil spirit of chen fu that's pretty much a 10 cent synopsis there this movie in a nutshell but what i do have to say this movie has a lot of good points um you know if you're looking for taiwanese 80s horror movies this one hits a lot of the marks i mean it's got martial arts it has taoist priest fighting action it has female exorcist fighting action it has scenes in it that make you kind of scratch your head and just go, what the hell? Like, only a Taiwanese movie from this era can do. And let's just talk about a few of those things. I mean, the Taoist priest. Let's start with that. The Taoist priest in this movie, employed by Master Hung, played by Robert Tai. He just does a fantastic job. Um, you get some really nice extended fight scenes with the Taoist priest trying to fight off Chen Fu, the evil spirit. And I just, I'm, I'm such a sucker for this. Anytime they have a movie with, um, a Taoist priest fighting off evil spirits, I just, I, I have to, I have to watch it. If I find out there's something like that in a movie, I'm there. And this movie did not disappoint on that regard. Um, Robert Ty did a great job. I will say this, he's no Lam Ching Ying uh, from Mr. Vampire fame uh, as far as Taoist priests go, but you know what? Uh, uh, Robert did a, a great job in this, and his fight scenes were really good. The female exorcist that steps up uh, basically is like a second line of defense in this movie to fight off Chen Fu. She, her, her fight scenes are fantastic as well. Um, definitely, um, you know who definitely will stick around in your mind for a while. And uh, she did a great job. The fight scenes are really good. All, all in all, all, you know, the martial arts in this movie, all in all, is pretty good. It's it's not the best, but for Taiwanese horror, I mean, I, I think it's I think it's pretty darn good. I, I would give it about a B- minus on the martial arts, at least for this genre of film. And then let's get to the biggest scene in this movie for me that made me just kind of go, wow, this is why I watch these. There's a scene where a candlestick or a candle gets thrown at um, Chen Fu, Kwan Young Moon, and he catches it, and then he bites it in half, and it was apparently a fluorescent light tube that he was eating, and it's just one of those scenes that's like only in a Taiwanese horror film from the 80s would you see something this crazy. Um, and that's why I watch these. I mean, stuff like that just keeps me, keeps me going and keeps me watching these films. But what I will say... One of the things about these films, let's just get into the bad now. And that is the comedy spots in this film. Um, completely unnecessary. The comedy spots completely take away from this film. 
completely unnecessary to add comedy to it. And the biggest thing that they did was they, for some reason, had this duo of con artists um, that appeared in the film that were some sort of weird comedy relief. And they're in two scenes that um, just absolutely could have been cut. And uh, they decide after the Taoist priest doesn't fare so well that they're going to get hired by Master Hung to be the new Taoist priest and assistant. And it's just, it's kind of ridiculous. It was just completely not needed. Um, didn't drive anything, didn't help anything. Um, this movie could have completely did without any comedy. It kind of takes away from the tone in it. Um, it's one of those things that kind of makes this movie a little bit lesser than it could have been. But other than the comedy spots in this movie, there's really not a whole lot to bitch about. Um, this, this, was a, this was a good one. I really enjoyed this. I would not mind owning a copy of it. Uh, I was unable to find a copy on DVD. I'm not, I'm not sure if this was ever released. Um, if you're looking to watch this, it has been uploaded onto YouTube. At the time of the posting of this video, um, you can watch the whole movie in its entirety, which is, a, which is a damn good thing. I'm glad somebody put that up because... Um, I feel like I could have went without seeing this one. Um, evil hits evil. This this was a good one. A lot of good Taoist priest action. Just just some really decent martial arts. And all in all, uh, as far as this genre goes, I, I really like this one. I, I recommend it. So if you like Taoist priest action, like spiritual possession, like female exorcist, like scenes that make you scratch your goat, head and go what the hell. Yeah, watch this one. That's all I got for you on this one. And I'm Mitch. And this has been... Mitch reviews everything.